hello it's Sarah and I have a project share today I was inspired to make these little um, I guess they're um, shadow boxes out of tins by Lori who is more art from the heart I saw a video um, it was actually a tutorial that she had based on a kit that she was selling in her art fire store and I just thought it looked so cool. I hadn't played with my alcohol inks in a while and um, I just wanted to try it. Um, so I ordered a few things. This is the, um, let me see, I have the paper here. Is this, this is a Ranger product. It's actually called foil tape sheets. Um, and I had this in my stash, which I, I had forgotten about. I kind of looked through all my Tim Holtz stuff and um, and it was there thankfully because I was it's it's more of a paper product it's literally like tin foil with a um, adhesive backing but I ordered the wrong thing I ordered this and this is a Ranger no this is actually Tim Holtz this is by Tim Holtz the in the ideology line and it's just called mirrored mirrored I guess it's like more of a mirrored sheets okay and it's from the ideology line and it's not the same at all and I ordered two packs of it it's definitely more um, it's like almost kinda like feels like um, chipboard so I haven't embossed with this yet I'm gonna attempt it but I really don't know how it's gonna take it because the foil sheets really take the embossing nicely and I've played with this before with um, just the um, stuff you get at Home Depot like it's duct tape or it's um, it's aluminum tape I forget when it's an industrial tape so I was familiar with that but what I love that she was doing she was actually putting it on the back of the tin and then using her um, alcohol inks to change the color because obviously it's silver the tin was silver and give it an aged look and she also used UT so I did get they happen to have this da uh, embossing dauber at, I think it was Michael's I found this she had these with her kits her kits were sold out though um, and I think that's why she was playing the tutorial because she figured well I may as well just put this up there um, there were no more kits anyway but I ended up getting UT I got it in platinum and gold um, and I don't love it it was my first time ever using it I'm gonna have to look into more uses for it I ended up using my silver regular old embossing powder I, I just felt better um, with that but let me just show you so this is the um, these tins are I think it's bottles and something I threw out my packaging but I got five of this style they come like this and they have the clear um, top so um, bottles and something bottles and I forget what it's called but um, if you just google it like tins and then it, it comes up so that's how I found it um, so I ordered five of them and then five of the regular which I don't love this at all see this is this has UT on it these um, the moon and the star and the stars and everything and it's just not um, because they had faces these little um, metal pieces and it didn't kind of like it it was too thick obviously it's ultra thick that's so it it wasn't fine enough to, to leave that and then I don't know this one just annoys me but I put it on the back too I was playing with it because Lori this is the platinum actually and I think I did put silver on top of that but she loves the UT and she just put it all around her tins and stuff but I've been playing and I've found a way that I like I just like doing it without it so this was um the Tim Holtz die um, the fence on the edge die that's the little fence where is it I have it right here so I put some of the tape on a little piece of um, it's on the edge on the fence um, some of the tape some of this tape I put it on like um, a piece of a uh, card um, this stuff file folder I love this because it's definitely it's I got the really strong file folders and then I um, I cut it and the, and then I just used my alcohol inks on the fence and kind of made it like an old rusty fence but the thing that I did differently that Lori Lori's were totally antiquey she put the alcohol inks on everything like she put 
it on all the metal pieces. She put it on the light bulb. Well, I did too. But then once I started embellishing and I thought, well, I need to add flowers and like I even put it on this bling here and it like totally it ages it, you know? Um, I put the pearls in and I put a little bit of lace trim around the edge and then it was like it stopped being so antique and old because of how bright the flowers were and everything. I mean, I don't hate it. I actually, I really like it. I think it turned out super cute, but um, hers are very more vintage and her photos, these were actually, um, I just got these too. These are the Tim Holtz um, Ancestor Found Relatives and the pictures in here are as big as that, uh, as big as here. So it would have. So I just found a, a picture of two little kids. It was these two little girls, and I cut them apart so I can use um, I can use them separately, and that way it wasn't so big. So I just took paper. This is his new line, Tim Holtz's new line, um, and this one actually says photograph there. So I don't know. I just kind of folded it and put random stuff in there. But this is really cute. And then on the front, look at this. This is the Prima found objects so I alcohol inked that and put a little drip there and just had some this lace was up it was on my table and I just like the color so that's that one and I didn't put any UT on this one because she kind of dribbles UT all over hers and gives it a little extra um like texture I guess but I didn't do that so then today I was playing again and this is my steampunk one I love it I love it this one turned out so cool um, I did it, I did put the UT on the back here, just actually this is not the UT because if you look at the back of this one, the platinum is not as high polish, it's more like gray and this is silver, so this is just my silver embossing powder and I just put the dauber here and there um, to get the, the ink all over it and then I just dusted it with that, but I think that looks okay, it's just the back. But I didn't bother putting it anywhere else on the piece. Um, this um, image in here is from Paper Crafter 45. She sent me um, these steampunk images a while ago. Um, and this lovely holder that I keep on my, um, my cork board. But anyway, there was one that was just... Uh, it's actually postcards with like steampunk images in here that she thought I could use for um, steampunk projects and I haven't really done any or even you know I, I've totally gone in different directions so that I pulled these out and this was one of the postcards this image so I cut her out I fussy cut her out she has a green top hat and with a, uh, a huge feather I just thought she was adorable like a monocle and she has her arms down here, it's kind of covered, but, and then I put this big pocket watch in her hand that I had from something else. I had cut this out and I already glossy accent, it was just sitting in my stash. I keep things in like baggies all around, like different embellishments, but I popped her up and then I had, this was um, one of my wooden uh, embellishments and I just put the silver embossing powder on that and then I painted it. I thought it looked really close because the colors of um, alcohol ink that I used were mostly the browns but then I pulled in the steam color and because I thought it gave it it's that like patina color. This is really strong how I put a lot on this one because I was going for like a blue sky kind of. It's more green I think. It's greenish blue stream. So, um, you can see how blue it is, but it's so pretty. Um, so I had that all throughout, like even the chain. When I, this chain was silver and I totally like dipped that in, I put it all, all the different, um, these colors, all the caramel colors and stuff, and then a little bit of the blue. And it's hard to see on camera, but it definitely picks up it like even this piece I did it too this was what I was getting at though this is painted with this Lemire paint um, by Jacquard it's halo blue gold so that totally blended because I I made it silver but I just didn't like that it was so silver so then I made the balloon and I loved it and I actually painted some flowers these are um is this this was white let me see is this the white one 
yeah I painted actually I painted this dragonfly I think I'm gonna use this dragonfly on one too on the top like uh, of the outside of a box um, what else I painted some flowers but anyway I it took the paint takes to like the flowers because these are like they're not fabric they're paper I guess but um, that looks like it was a gold one that I painted. I think I used the other ones. I don't know where they are. Um, my desk is a mess right now. It has so much stuff all over it and I can't find it. But um, I just think this turned out super cute. I just mostly use gears. I had a bunch of um, the Tim Holtz gears that you, the die cuts, I had them already cut out. A lot of them. This is at a chipboard. So I put alcohol inks on them. Um, I just pulled out all my... Um, anything gear related or clocks and things and I alcohol ink them and put them on here this is just a charm that's a light bulb that I had and then this is an actual light bulb this is um Hobby Lobby's brand spare parts um, and then these little nuts or these are bolts these are bolts um, these are just chain that I had I think I found it at Michael's or it might have been Hobby Lobby. I haven't been. To, I got to go to Hobby Lobby again. I haven't been there in forever, but here it is. It's just a bunch of bolts, like that are connected by um, jump rings. So anyway, I just love the green in her. I pulled out with the ink, the alcohol ink. So I just put a bunch. This these keys are just like those. Um, they're kind of like um, cabinet keys or something like that file cabinet keys I alcohol ink them and then I left some stuff without alcohol ink like the well this gear I put alcohol ink on I think it looks good so this was Lori more art from the heart she totally came up with this but I put the chain around it and then on the front um, I have I've had these flowers forever these metallic flowers I think they were on clearance at Michael's or recollections um, this is I think I painted this one gold no I didn't I painted it on the back because I whatever showed I want it to be oh this little fly is from I think it's like found objects that's the name of it it's at Michael's in the bead section I got all these little bugs so I put this fly on there and just put random little um, um different gears and cogs and then on the bottom I had have had these in my stash forever these little clocks I don't know if they're from um a Hobby Lobby too and then I had um, a metal butterfly I cut it cut the wings in half and then inked them up so that looks really cool so this one I really love this was the one I made today because this one just stayed total grunge it didn't I think adding the flowers to the other one and the lace and stuff it just softened it up and it didn't stay as like antique looking I mean I like it but I think and I love the fence and just the flowers how they turned out and everything I love it. I just ordered some more um, Wild Orchid Crafts flowers because they're super fun to play with they're so little um, I put the butterfly and the drip and then yeah so this one's cute too but I, I just you see what I mean about like how the flowers just brightened it up instead of being everything antique and if you watch Lori's video you'll see what I mean like everything in her video I think she even alcohol inks some of the paper and really keeps it aged looking so um, it just it changed for me everything was good and then when I put the flowers I thought oh I kind of just popped that with color like maybe I could have sprayed them with um, like some type of spray like I even did this bottle Lori did this too so you just take and you let the um, alcohol ink drip down the side of the bottle. So I didn't put that in. I could have put that in. You know, I wanted to fill it with something. Um, I did this domino, which looks super cool. I think I'm going to do, the next one I do, I'm going to do this paper. And this paper is from, I think, I want to say Die Cuts with a View. Um, it was a steampunk something. I can't think of it but I've had it in my stash forever but see there's a die there so I thought I'll definitely put the domino probably another one of those round game pieces or like this I pulled this out of my stash so I think I'm gonna make another one um, I don't know if I'll put a picture I kind of like this and it'll just be um, like that all right sorry let me I digress all right but look this this um, dragonfly this is just chipboard and I was thinking I could just put like a key in the middle of that for a steampunk one I might even use like 
some type of liquid pearls or something um, or put gears I could put gears on the wings or something so I'm just playing um, but this like I said it's Lori more art from the heart and she has a blog too and an art fire store so that's where um, you can look into getting some of these um, some of the stuff that you need for this but that's it for now um, I'm gonna come back with one other thing that I made alright you guys thanks for watching